Discord. Yo, 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 what's good, man? This is Leonidas coming at you. I'm making this video because my man, the real trainer AZ, had some issues with his Facebook account. So addressing some specific uh, specific questions are pertaining to um, his message. So, all right, so if I may, I'll read the message to you. Let me mute my phone real quick. And he hit me up on Instagram. Yo, check this guy's page out, man. This dude's a real monster, man. He's ripped. You know what I mean? He's really taking working out serious. So um, if you're interested in getting fit, getting in shape, man, definitely give this guy a shout. Um, but anyway, he said in 2016, his account had got hacked where someone someone was using his account to run ads in Europe, which, believe it or not, that is very common to for, for people to get their Facebook accounts hacked. Um, so don't freak out over it. Um, even though the bank restored everything is back to normal, Facebook still has that account disabled. All right, so have no fear, my man, AZ. Um, that's a that's that's a a common problem with advertising on Facebook, which is it's a pain in the butt. It sucks, but at the same time, um, because of the size of Facebook, it makes it very difficult to um go elsewhere to get great traffic. So. The workaround with this, what you what you want to do is you're going to have to create a, an entirely new Facebook account. Um, and once you create the account, you're going to go ahead and uh, let me just pull this up in a uh, new tab. One second. All right. So what you're going to do is go to uh, business dot facebook dot com forward slash overview when you do this you have to make sure that the browser that you're using you're already logged in I spell business that's what we think B U I can't spell business B U I S S you go that's still spelled it wrong what's this thing doing Business dot Facebook dot com forward slash overview and once yeah so once you go ahead you gotta make sure that you're see you gotta make sure that you're logged into the Facebook account to a Facebook account your Facebook account preferably um, just log in any one of these as you can see I've got a buku load of Facebook accounts um, and many of them I'm really honestly I'm never active on them but you want to come to business dot Facebook oh, I still don't do it right business dot facebook.com if you haven't already set this up right now once you go to business dot this will probably come okay great so once you come here remember this um extension because it's a little trick to this right and even on your current facebook account you could probably try this on your current account um just go to business dot facebook dot overview and then go to create account it's going to bring up this information right here just really doesn't matter because I've never seen this anywhere else except for right here. So it doesn't really matter what you put in there. Just put, I don't know. I don't know, man. Like, think big. <laughs> Boom. Think big at gmail.com. Um, and this is all for example purposes, not my real email or whatever. This doesn't even really, really matter. Um, fill out the, your information on here this is like a new security feature that facebook has added because a lot of the fraud that's happened um they put this address website doesn't really matter i just usually put facebook in there just to put something because sometimes they bug about it all right yeah i've reached the limit oh uh, so i see it says i've reached the limit for business number of business accounts i can create because why that happens is Facebook allows you to create two business manager accounts per Facebook profile account. So think about um, a single mom, I guess, in this sense, would be your Facebook, your Facebook account, and then your fa your business manager accounts. Those would be two kids, so to speak, for the same mom, right? Or for a single parent. Let's just say single parent. So those two ad accounts you can run independently or together and then there's a way where you can actually take those two ad accounts and turn them into 22 ad accounts and i'll, I'll show that in another video um 
and uh, break that because it's a little bit of a process. But um, it's telling me this because I've already created the maximum amount, the maximum amount of Facebook business accounts for per this account. So not to worry, I'll just go back over to, to this one for the example. And once you get into the uh, where is it at? Once you get into the uh, the business manager account. trying to find here we go just click on facebook right it's gonna look something like this see how it has this one account and then it, it, it's gonna have them set up like this so you'll see one up top the other one so really you have three uh, three ad accounts initially to start with because you got your personal your first business manager your second business manager and then they're gonna pop up here the well the new one will pop up on here side by side now what will happen is, and I'll show you for example, my personal ad account right now is disabled. So I'll, I'll show you this on the personal one. And this got disabled because of, uh, I think, the debit card I was using. Um, it didn't process or something because it, I, did, I didn't, it wasn't enough funds on it or I blocked it or turned it off or so, or whatever it was. It didn't process and Facebook, they disabled it. So all I gotta do is click, literally click request review if this happens. Um, and I just put the name on the, the ad account. Right. Just choose the disabled account. Just always do this. Um, I, I really did. So I am following uh, advertising <coughs> guidelines. Platform I would only like to be able to continue to grow my brand and make payments without and I won't say make payments but settle settle my advertising account in a timely manner. Um, please find it possible to reactivate my advertising privilege. Oh, I can't spell the privileges. <laughs> as quickly as possible thank you in advance that's kind of like a way to give it an order without in a requesting kind of manner so all right you can copy that verbatim if you want i just literally just made that up but that's kind of like along the the um it's along the the lines of how, how i would always write to facebook and this and this is all they really give you to plead for your ad account. And usually, sometimes you see within it says one to two business days, but it usually uh, it'll be like it's five twelve a.m. probably by seven a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It will um convert over to uh they'll respond to it. It's they're usually pretty quick. See, I've had it happen a couple times before. Back in April, thanks for contacting me. Notice unusual activity. Temporary digital after reviewing, you activate your account, blah, blah, blah. So you just have to go through that process literally as many times as possible. It's happened a couple of times here so far, but it's something that's going to happen. Um, With the business manager accounts, let me get back to that real quick. Um, What happens with that? There we go. Once you, once you have both of them created, they're going to look like this. So see how it says two ad accounts? This one has one ad account. So I'm getting, I'm building this one out to get 11 ad accounts on this one and 11 more on here, but it takes a little time. Um, so I'm going to go right here and what you want to do to start, uh, um, being able to use your, the ad account, you want to get into it for a uh, oh, uh, critical piece of information. So the reason why you want to use your old Facebook account, right? 
to control the ads from the new Facebook account is because Facebook's algorithm, they check to see, and forgive me for how I sound, I have a, an abscess tooth, so my mouth is like really swollen right now, um, but they they have their algorithm, it tracks to see how long your account has been in use, so if you have a new account, and y- you know, like, my boy AZ, I know you, you've got a pretty big following on Instagram. So if you were to go ahead and, let's say, promote a product to your Instagram followers, right, using your Facebook platform on, on the new account, they're going to go ahead and probably flag you if you, let's say, you have a budget of 500 to $2,000 to spend because it's going to look kind of sketchy, you know what I mean? But if you have a, a, uh, a seasoned, what they call a seasoned account, account that's been sitting for, like, three months, four months, six months, a year, two years, ten years, that has never advertised, you have a higher chance of getting your advertisements uh, approved and having that uh, advertisement account ran for a much longer period of time. So what you do is, from the uh, from your business manager, you want to go in where it says add, and you want to go request access to an ad account. It's going to give you this this number. You copy it to your clipboard. And then what you want to do is on your on the new Facebook account, right? And I'll just do this just for demonstrational purposes here. On your new Facebook account, you're going to go in here and you're going to go on the ad account that you're going to create, right? Right here it says, uh, is it that? accounts, ad account. And then you're going to go add. I'm sorry. Yeah, once you create it, you're going to go assign partner. Business ID, paste that in, give them full admin rights. Let's sum it up. Sum these up. What's this going on? It's probably because it's from the same account. All right, so once you click next, boom, it'll bring you in, and then you got to come back to the account and you got to go add people. And you got to click yourself, boom, assign. Or, or if you don't do that, you won't have access to the account. So assign. And then now what will happen is when you go to your old Facebook account now, you're going to see when you refresh, it's not going to happen right now, but y- you'll see You'll see the ad account listed right here. And it'll say, um, as a matter of fact, do I have one for that I can show you for an example? Let's see. I'm pretty sure I do because I've got so many Facebook accounts. Give me one second. Let me pull it up. Let me see. All right, so yeah, here's a great example. All right, so I'm bring this to the screen. All right, so this is one of my oldest Facebook advertising accounts. As you can see, they've restricted access. They've blocked access. But this account has gone through a lot of scrutiny, so I'm not going to do this. I wouldn't do this to use it in a sense because I've, I've got other Facebook accounts. But for your sake, see, I have all these ad accounts right here. That's the same way I did that. It won't even let me get to the ad accounts. <laughs> That's funny. I had accounts owned by this business account are disabled, and new ones can't be created. So they totally even graded out, so I can't even touch it. Okay, this is one of my very first one from like 2014. <laughs> they um, I can't even touch it, but these are all the accounts right here, as you can see. Right, so the same thing will happen. It'll pop up with the list of accounts on the new on the old account, and then you can just continue running through your advertising setup as you need to. So, um, just be very mindful from your account getting hacked. Um, the only solution to this is what I always tell people is just get you a little cheap track phone uh, and just start a new uh, Facebook account just for the, you know, just start it and let it sit for a couple of months because you're going to have advertisement problems. Um, you might be lucky. You know what I mean? You might be lucky when it go a year or two without having any hiccups, but it's going to happen. And when you when it happens, you need to be ready. You need to be prepared. So that's like one of the best ways to um, use the same use your primary account to run ads in a safe way and also you can share your pixels the exact same way but i'll share that in in another video so 
I hope this helps. If it does, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget, please remember to subscribe. And um, pray for me, y'all, man. My, my face is so swollen right now. It's so swollen. It hurts so bad. If you ever have, had like a bad toothache, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you did. Let me know what you did to deal with the pain. I actually overdosed last week, and man, I was thrown up for like two days. It sucked. Um, let me know, like, what, if you've had a root canal, what your experience was. You know what I mean? I'm very terrified of the dentist, man. Who isn't, right? But right now, I think I can take any pain the dentist can bring over what I've experienced over the last four or five days. So, anyway, hope you have an awesome day. Hope this video really helped. And um, I hope it helps you to uh, elevate your, your business in whatever sense or just get you exposure, whatever, you, whatever you're trying to do. If you need any more help, feel free to reach out to me um, on Instagram. My information is in the description. And feel free to like, subscribe, and share this content. Thanks for your help.